Hey you guys, I've had a bad day and I wanted to tell you about it. So it's been an interesting week for me and it's sort of highlighting some of the big changes that have been going on in my life over the past few months. So I'm, I'm back in school right now, but the job I had before I went back to school, I was actively working in a drop-in center that was transgender specific. I was running an HIV testing program for trans women. Trans was my life. Every, everyone around me at work and at home and on my own, everyone knew what trans was and they, they knew what to do. They knew how to act and how to, how to function properly around trans people. Ends up that's not the case with the rest of the world. So I'd sort of been living in this, this bubble. And then I left and I went back to school in like the general population. And some of my professors are really cool. Some of my fellow students are really cool. And some are just fucking idiots. So I'll give an example. So my first day of my sociology class. And keep in mind I spent the last three years doing social work. So I was like this class is going to be a breeze. But like right off the bat I just started like butting heads with this professor. And it happened like right away on, on like the first or second class. when he was like well give an example of privilege. And I was like, okay, well, you know, so like a white cisgender man, this, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, wait a second. All right, cisgender. And he starts writing this on the board. And he's like, cis, gen, how, how do you do it? Can you explain what this is to the class? And I'm, okay, I, I mean, that, that wasn't what I was focusing on. That was just like an example of privilege. Um, but, but okay, whatever. So I explained to the class that cisgender is if you are born male and still identify as male and live as male, then you are cisgender. Like most people are cisgender. Um, and he was like, wait a second, but I, I thought that was when it was the other way. Isn't that, isn't that what this was? No, no, it's not. At this point, like, I'm feeling like I'm getting super clocked in class. And I'm, I'm not super, like, out in school. Um, like, if people ask me about it or talk to me about it, then that's fine. But I'm not walking around being like, look at me, everybody, I'm trans. Because I've done that for so long, and I want to I want to not do it for a little while. So, like, I, I stop, stop responding, and somebody else picks up the conversation. I was so thankful that somebody else in the class knew what cisgender was and what transgender was. and was able to explain it to this guy. So now we just had our midterm, and on the midterm, midterm. Question 24 was, which of the following is an example of a counterculture? So we had a couple of different examples and it was like a female Presbyterian priest and like, you know, other, other examples. And then the, the, the last one was transgendered prostitute. <sighs> okay. This is the only time, the only time in the entire class so far, and we're at the midterm process, and we've already gone through a whole chapter on gender, that he has used the word transgender, or he used transgendered with an ED, which actually isn't a word. Even when we went over the gender chapter, he talked about male and female and intersex, and that was it. So we didn't really talk about gender, we talked about sex, whatever. I'm just, I'm constantly having to like fight him on things like this. Like the only time he uses transgender as an example is as prostitutes. And there are a lot of people who are prostitutes and there are a lot of people who are prostitutes by choice and who are prostitutes not by choice and all these things. But like we can be way more than that. It just makes me so fucking mad when that's like the one thing that, that we finally used. We had a whole chapter to cover gender and talk about this stuff. And we didn't because he doesn't know anything. And so I'm having to deal with like bullshit like that all of a sudden. And coming out of this like trans utopia bubble where like everybody in my day to day life was trans to now sort of being the only trans person I'm interacting. Like I'm not interacting with other trans people regularly. And it's such a different way of existing. And it's harder. It's harder. I forgot how much harder it is. Anyway, I needed to rant. I really did. I had a lot of stuff in. Thank you so much for listening. Please let me know if you've had these sorts of experiences and like how you deal with them because I'm having a hard time not wanting to like punch people in the face. That's probably not a good thing for me to be doing. Anyway, thanks for listening guys and I'll see you later.